What's up, Copy Squad? It's your boy, Kyle Milligan, coming to you live from the back of an Uber in Baltimore, Maryland. I meant to get a, a live going earlier, but uh, I forgot, and then I got on a plane, and then I was like, oh no, I totally forgot, and I missed my 4 o'clock live. So, I'm going to go ahead and make it up to you now. i got to turn off this vibrate feature, because I keep getting text messages since I landed. And, uh... Basically what I want to talk about is a way to make a bunch of cash, and it's based on this video that we talked about yesterday, having Facebook basically ban my book on their ad network because I tried to submit one ad. I tried to submit one ad, the ad was rejected, and then they sent me a letter to say, no more ads may be created for this product. Basically, your book will not sell on Facebook. And that was a little disheartening, but what are you going to do, man? It's a, it's a business. You either adapt or die. So I did do some sulking and I did do some uh, really extreme uh, curse word practice. So there's a lot of that going on. Um, but then I had to think, okay, so how am I going to fix this? Or how am I going to um, adapt, basically? So today I had the opportunity to speak with a Facebook compliance specialist. And this takes me right back to what I was saying yesterday. Like... Uh, there is a, I think, a niche for someone who is just like well versed in the language of Facebook compliance. What do I say all the time about copywriting? I say copywriting is a professional language. And that's what my whole book is about, is teaching you the professional language. If you want to make a bunch of money, you need to learn a new language. A language that other people do not speak, but would like to learn how to speak. And I'm not talking English, Spanish, French, or German. I'm talking about professional languages. In my past life, uh, that language was accounting for me. I got a master's in accounting, I took the CPAs, and I worked at an auditing, I worked at an accounting firm as an auditor. And I spoke the language of accounting, and people would pay top dollar for someone who could speak accounting to come in and put together their financial statements, or come in and review their financial statements, right? It's the same thing with copywriting. I, I preach that copywriting should be treated just like accounting. It should be treated with the same professional uh, courtesy, like the same professional seriousness as accounting. And I, um, I wrote my whole book around learning this language of copywriting. It's called Take Their Money. It's called Take Their Money for Now. And we'll talk about that in just a second. It's, uh, you can check out my sales letter for it at kylethewriter.com forward slash book. Uh, notice <laughs> I said you can check out my sales letter for it because, I mean, that is what I think most people do. Just go there and try to, uh, dissect my copy. But yeah, that's my book, Take Their Money. And, um, Another professional language is law. People pay top dollar for someone who can speak the language of law. So anyway, long story short, I get on the I get on the horn with this dude. I talk to this Facebook compliance specialist, and he knows the laws of Facebook inside and out, right? He knows what you can and can't say. And he started spitting all sorts of jargon at me. The same way if someone was to show me their Facebook ad and be like, hey, you think this will sell anything? And I would be like, no. And <laughs> I can tell him, oh, first off, new, easy, safe, and big, the big four selling emotions, whether they're present or not, whether it's urgency, scarcity, um, what kind of like unique mechanism or unique selling proposition there is or they are lacking. Those are jargon words to them, but it's just like common language to me. So if you want to learn a language that someone needs to make their business run, you can make a bunch of money. And I was talking about Facebook ads specifically yesterday. So I get, I get to talking to this dude and he starts spitting jargon. He tells me the title of my book in Facebook's uh, policy is called Financial Endangerment. My, my book's title, Take Their Money, represents financial endangerment or something like that. And he's like, you can't say that. And I was like, well, so the, that's why they banned the book. The title just represents an anti-policy violation that I didn't know existed. Another thing, he said words, uh, destroy is a sensational word. He said, uh, you can't use a specific monetary claims the way that I'm using them. I have to dull them down. And he basically gave me like a top to bottom look through of my sales letter of how I make it Facebook compliant. So when people call me and they say, I've got this marketing message, but I need it to resonate in the emotional level so that I can sell my stuff. I can tell them as a copywriter, yes, do this, do this, do this. Well, this guy I was talking to did the same thing for a mo or for Facebook compliance. And I think what's really cool about this is now I have like a new tool in my tool belt which is Facebook compliance. I learned a lot talking to this guy and he gave me like a whole cheat sheet on, on things to do and don't do, like little triggers and things that Facebook looks for. And now I've got more skills and knowledge in that department. And here's something cool. I'm gonna turn lemons into lemonade now. One of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this knowledge 
and I'm going to record it as a bonus for my current uh, copywriting product. So I'm recording videos showing people how I wrote the sales letter for Take Their Money at kylewriter.com forward slash book. You can buy the book and check out the sales letter there. But I'm making a product, a video recording, showing you exactly how I go through the process. That's the question that's the hardest to answer that everybody asks. What's the process? What's the process? Where do you get your research? How do you do this? How do you do that? It's impossible to sit here and tell you with, the, with the, my phone in my hand talking to the camera. Right? It's like impossible to convey all the information. So instead, I'm just going to record it all. I'm going to record it all, and I'm going to sell it as a product. And then what's cool about this turn of events is now as a bonus, I'm not going to increase the price or make you pay extra for it. As a bonus, I'm just going to add on to the product I have and show you how I went from the current sales letter, which we have right now. And you should know that I've made, um, I don't know if I should say how much I've made, but I've made multiple four figures selling my $12 book without Facebook ads or anything like that, but mostly through this channel, right? So um, I'm hoping to scale it to big money, five figures, and add another product for six figures using Facebook ads. So I've got to adapt or I'm going to sit here in the four figure range and maybe eventually the five figure if I just try really hard. But I don't wanna do that, I wanna scale. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna adapt. It's gonna be a bonus now. I was like, well, I'll just give this to the people who buy my product. So. Uh, there you go, man. That's that's going to be there for you too. So again, it's it's about adapting or dying. And really, what we're talking about is languages are like I, I said it backwards. I was going to say businesses are just a set of professional languages. Everybody has their own professional language. And if you want to make a boatload of cash, you need to pick one. Pick one. All you can do is pick one. And I said this yesterday. Seth Godin says you start out in the fringes. And then you work your way to that juicy middle, right? You work your way towards the mainstream, but you start out there as an expert, a, as a consultant, a expert at one little tiny thing, and you become the go-to person for that, right? I'm not gonna claim to be a Facebook compliance expert, but I'm gonna show you how I got my ad on the Facebook. I'm gonna show you how I was able to overcome that hurdle so that you could maybe take that knowledge and use it yourself. But I do say, you know, if you need help selling uh, basically anything, you should use the big four emotions, right? This has helped me sell, uh, Last year, over $7.1 million in products, right? That's what, that's what revenue uh, my copy produced. So that's because I mastered one language, and that language was copywriting, right? And I have all the legal compliance and everything to keep us in accordance with the law and financial regulations, but I didn't have the Facebook compliance tool in my tool belt. Now I've got some cool tools to use, and now I can actually expand. I, can, I got bigger, like, copywriting muscles now. I can flex a little harder and I can start to build my own business and expand that way. But um, I think that's like the key to, to making a boatload of money is pick a language, master it, become the go-to dude, and then you can begin to slide towards the center where you're kind of helping everybody do everything. And the one thing I wanted to stress yesterday was don't come out firing being a social media ad agency or something. Or maybe you could, but I would say start at the fringes. Be the go-to person for one particular language that you speak better than anybody else. And you're, I mean, <laughs> you're totally fluent. You can do it in your sleep. Like, get to that level. And accounting, okay, there's a CPA exam, Certified Public Accountant exam. Whenever you take that, it says, hey, you are proficient in this language of accounting. In law, there's the LSAT and the bar exam, and it says, hey, you are proficient in the language of law, okay? So for copywriting and maybe even Facebook compliance and stuff like that, uh, it's not so cut and dry. There aren't like regulatory bodies that are uh, widely acknowledged and known and like, okay, this is your certificate, you qualify, but you have to do with something to build your credibility in that regard. Um, and I'll say you can copy what I'm doing here. You can just go on Facebook or YouTube or something like that where you just give tips about your expertise. Just basically help help folks who are not fluent in your language, help them to become more fluent. That's what I do. And that positions me as what I would call an expert. And some people want to call it a guru. I like the word expert. I like to view myself more as a professional expert because I don't treat this as just some internet marketing gimmick. This is a profession. This is a profession. I treat it as serious as a lawyer treats his law degree. Like this is something that uh, it makes money because I do treat it with that sort of respect. And I think that's what it really comes down to is respect. It's This is a professional skill set. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is actually a skill set that if you utilize correctly and you employ it and you can see the results
results, you can see sales multiply, you can test against it, you can do case studies, like you can do anything. You can basically sell anything if you know how to write copy, right? And then you just gotta get it to Facebook ads. All right, any questions, copy squad? Uh, sorry for coming on a little late. I'll get this up to YouTube in a little while. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout. You can check out my book, Take Their Money. It's available at kylewriter.com. Oh yeah, so I might have to change the title of the book just to comply with Facebook. And you know what? I'm not above it. I don't care. I'm a, what really speaks to me is the dollar bills. So all I care about is, is what do I got to do to make the money for this book to sell, right? Because like that's that. The end game is to get this book to uh, to scale, right? Like uh, and 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 the, if I gotta if I gotta change the title, I mean that's a small price to pay. I don't have to change my messaging or, or change what I do as a uh, as a teacher so fine whatever if it, that, that allows us to have a broader reach and scale cool but anyway uh, the book title is probably going to change soon I should probably throw out some new titles or something for you guys to vote on take their money is available at kylerwriter.com forward slash book also be on the lookout for my new product where I show you how I wrote the sales letter for that and when the bonus item will be included and I'm going to show you how I got it on Facebook so now I've got to I've got to push that product back until I get my current letter uh, Facebook compliant and get it running on Facebook and I'll show you how I did that as a bonus. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in, Copy Squad. I don't see any questions coming in. That's all I've got for today. Peace out.